the word defibrillator for today, where we're trusting God for a word from within the word. Mindful. That is the, the uh, word that I found this morning on uh, just on the the road traveling along the coast and just spending time with God. And he said, you need to be more mindful. So I went and I looked up the word mindful. And the mindful actually means being, bearing in mind, being aware. And it's uh, having a realization, a perception or a knowledge. Be watchful. Very, very important. Very, very important. So you, if we go to the scripture, then the word that we're going to look at today is going to be out of Hebrews 2, and it's going to be verse 6. Now, it's also in Psalms 8, but it says this, going back to verse 5. It was not to angels that God subjected the inhabited world of the future when Christ reigns, about which we are speaking. But one has solemnly, solemnly, solemn, solemnly testified somewhere in Scripture saying, What is man that you are mindful of him? Or the son of man that you graciously care for him? What is man that you are mindful of him? Now there's 65 verses that refer to being mindful, God being mindful Man being mindful and mindful as far as uh, he has given unto them that fear he will ever be mindful of his covenant. Be mindful always of his covenant, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations. That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles, of the Lord and Savior. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they had came out, they might have had the opportunity to have, uh, to have returned. So the word mindful means I'm paying attention. I'm thinking of you. It is foremost. I have set aside thoughts for you. I am mindful of you. So if I'm spending time with you, I need to be mindful of you thinking about you, putting you first, and everything that I want to say to you needs to be in the response to what I feel God is saying to you. So I'm mindful of what God is saying about you that he wants me to say to you. And when we run into situations where we keep on making mistakes, and afterwards, I don't know if you've been in that situation where you go, eh, if I had to do that again, I would do this, this, and this. We should have, we should have. And we have these shooters and the kudas and we make mistakes and we sin and we have areas where we know we shouldn't be doing it, yet we do it. And I just feel this morning for us, the message from within the word is we need to be mindful. As God is mindful of us, we need to be mindful of God, wary of his word, making sure we execute his word as foremost in our lives. So if I'm mindful of God, I'm putting his word in scripture first. So let's say being in the mind, our fight is against the thoughts. Every thought that exalts itself up against the knowledge of God, that's where the warfare is. So we being mindful is to exactly that, is to take every thought captive and hold it submissive to the word of God. Take every thought captive and hold it submissive to the word of God. Very, very important. And that is for us to go, I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be saying this to this person. So I would say that mindfulness becomes our filter system that we use before we do, say, think, before we actually go and pray for somebody. Are we mindful as to what God wants for that person? Are we putting his word foremost? Now, I know if I've been looking back at my last couple of days, if I was more mindful of what God was trying to tell me through the Holy Spirit, things would have turned out differently. Now, the question is, if we were more mindful and we look back on the things that, if I could do that again, maybe I would have turned left instead of right. If you look back at those things, for me, if I was more mindful, I would definitely not have said it done it or even gone there we need to be in that place where we're putting everything we do and say 
So if you're going to go to a place that you shouldn't go, and afterwards you go, oh, man, I knew I was, I was there. I knew I shouldn't have been there. Well, were you mindful of who God is in your life? Are you mindful of his promises? Are you mindful of his covenants? Are you mindful that um, man is led away by his own evil desires and when he leads away by his own, led away by his own evil desires, it leads to sin and that sin leads to a spiritual death? Are you mindful of that scripture? Are you mindful that you are fearfully and wonderfully made? Are you mindful that he has plans for you to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future? Are you mindful that you are going to go spend time in eternity? Are you mindful that you've been delivered from all your pain and hurt? Are you mindful that you are that new creation? If we keep those thoughts in mind, so they are continually in the front of our thinking, and we're using those scriptures that we know so well, and we're mindful of his word, wouldn't life possibly go just a little bit more smoother? Now, life doesn't get better. We get better. But we could do with a little bit of help. And being more mindful of God and his word is definitely going to assist us. Anyway, Father, we thank you for this word this morning. I thank you, Father, that you've rattled my cage to be more mindful. And if I was more mindful, then I wouldn't be even landing up doing half of the stuff I shouldn't be doing. And maybe I'll be doing more of the stuff that I should be doing, knowing what to prioritize, not knowing who comes first or, or what comes first, Father. Sometimes everything's a good thing, but not everything's a God thing. And Father, I want to be mindful of the God things of life, the things that you have hold, held me accountable, us accountable to, to do first before we engage with anything or anyone else. Father, I thank you that you are mindful of us. Many instances in your word, Father, we are there. Even the angels question, what is man that you are so mindful of him? Father, we thank you for your love, your grace, your mercy. In Jesus' name, we are overwhelmed. Amen.